spirit of God in your heart. Oh God, can't you do anything else than Azusa Street Revival? 112 years. Do something new. Father, do something superior. And begin with us. I sense that God is about to do something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, we'd like to welcome you to the virtual prayer night to our dear chairman, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, coming to you from Pen TV. Pen TV is all about Jesus. We're on DS TV channel 367, Go TV channel 214. We're on channel 34 on the digital platform. We're also on the satellite platform here in Ghana and part of West and Central Africa. We would like to acknowledge as many as are connecting to tonight's prayer meeting on these platforms. We also want to recognize all those who are joining on our various media platforms on Facebook at Pen TV GH and the COPHQ, and on YouTube at Pen TV GH and the Church of Pentecost. We are also very grateful to all those who are joining on the Zoom platform. We also want to recognize as many as are coming together in our various church auditoriums and, uh, and on, on our campuses in response to the call for one million intercessors. This is the virtual prayer with our dear chairman. And on this note, I humbly invite our prayer coordinator, Apostle Dr. Akena B.G. Kumiwood. Apostle. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, we thank the Lord for another opportune moment wherein we are gathered in his presence to pray and to call on him particularly as we enter into the Easter season, we talked about the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 8 reads, First Corinthians 2, verse 8, from the NIV reads that none of the rulers of this age understood it. For they, if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. None of the rulers of this age understood it. For if they had, they would not have crucified the king of glory. So as we launch into the Easter season, we are talking about the wisdom of God unfolding. When the church is unleashed, it means that God also unfolds his wisdom, his purposes, his counsel, and his power. And it's our prayer that even as we enter into our various Easter conventions, the wisdom of God will be made manifest. The power of God that comes through the resurrection will be expressly present and that the Lord our God will be glorified. Beloved, God answers prayer and all that we have been lifting to him, he hears and is working with them. Testimonies are abounding. So let's keep praying. Hallelujah. So even for this moment, we'll have our sister Glenda Kumiwood to take us through the period of adoration, Glenda Kmud, Verma Camp Worship Center, will take us through the period of adoration. And then we'll begin with the intercession led by Apostle Johnny Ansa from the U.S. We'll be followed by Pastor Emmanuel Pasechi Yerobi of PRWC Kanishi. And then we'll have our Elder Emmanuel Boateng from Pensa Legon taking us to the last lap. Let our hearts be in tune as we worship the Lord, led by Sir Glenda Kumiwood. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the same vein, we want to enter into a time of adoration. We would read John chapter 12, verse 12 to 13. John chapter 12, verse 12 to 13. And I read, it says, The next day, the great crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Amen. 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 Our Lord Jesus is the King of Israel, and not just Israel. He is the King of of kings, the king of us all, the king of all nations. And so in this evening, with one heart in one accord, we want to enter into a time of worship, worshiping our king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord.
Jesus Christ is the King of kings. Jesus Christ is the Lord of lords. He is the King. Oh, 
He is King of kings and Lord of lords. We worship your majesty, our Lord. He is He will only raise forever and ever. He we worship you, O King of Kings. We bow before you, O Lord of Lords. We worship you, we adore you. We magnify you, O God. We worship you, Oh, we magnify you, our God. We bow before you, our King. We worship you, our Lord. You deserve all praise and glory, honor and adoration. We bow before you. Jesus, we exalt your name, we exalt you, our God. You are a wonderful God. He must santa la 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 He must santa la 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 We exalt you, O Majesty. You are who died and rose again. Who is seated on high? We worship you, Jesus. He kabosha de maguri and la 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 la. He mama masote the lake and la 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 la. We exalt you, O God. He my coach and la 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 la. Let us exalt His name together. Let us exalt His name together. Let us exalt His name forever.
May we humbly resume our seats in worship and remain silent before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus shall reign where the sun does it successive John your name forever and ever, our Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You alone reign, so God, for eternity. Glory. And so, our Lord, we say you deserve glory, honor, and praise and adoration. Hallelujah. We bless your name, our God. Amen. Your people are here. Those you saved are here to bow before you, King, Amen. and exalt you forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. Connect to Apostle Johnny and Sam for the U.S. Oh, who shall to me no Everything says to Ponte. By the power of the resurrection, oh, to me, no, every pimps and so bonte, oh, nya.
to thank our father the chairman and the leadership for this opportunity tonight we want to pray the first topic for our prayer is pray for the resurrection power to unleash the whole church to transform our world with excellence and righteousness we are praying for the power of the resurrection to unleash the whole church to transform our world with excellence and righteousness Ezekiel 37 paints a picture of the resurrection power when God caused dry bones to come together and became as a vast army. Then uh, he told Ezekiel to prophesy. And the Bible says in Ezekiel 37 verse 9, Then he said to me, Prophesy to, to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to it, This is what the sovereign Lord says, Come, yeah. breath, from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live again. The verse 12 says, therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the Lord, sovereign Lord says, my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from there. We want to pray tonight that may this resurrection power unleash the church that we will go into the world to transform it. Apostle Paul says that and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. He who raised Christ Hallelujah. from the dead will also give you life yeah. for your mortal body. Shall we lift up prayer? Asking that this resurrection power, this resurrection power will cause the whole church to be unleashed for the transformation of our world. Shall we pray for excellence? Father, in the name of Jesus, our Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we thank you for the power of the resurrection. For the the resurrection power it is only the resurrection power that will unleash the church that will unleash us oh god therefore tonight we call upon you therefore tonight we call upon you that our master and our god may you cause this spirit of the lord the spirit that raised christ from the dead may this power that raised christ from the dead father unleash our church father open the doors for your church the lord we shall vote in them with excellence and righteousness that the life that we need of God will bring people unto you in the power of the name of Jesus in the power of the name of Jesus we pray for the unleashing of the whole church that we shall transform our world of God with excellence we want excellence of God in how we conduct our churches excellence in every aspect of the church excellence in every aspect of the church in the name of Jesus Jesus, in, the in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, that in God we pray, O oh God, God, that everything that is dead, O oh God, God, shall be resurrected again. Everything that is dead, O oh God, shall be resurrected again. In the power of the name of Jesus, in the power of the name of Jesus, Shakabroko Zotoya, Ebrakataya Babea, in your name, O oh God, we are praying. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. We are praying that the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, the church, we prophesy, every aspect, we prophesy every area, over the church now, we prophesy over the, the church, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. we prophesy over the church, let that the church, let the church that the shall be unleashed to God, that the church of God shall be unleashed in, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. by the resurrection power, by the resurrection power, to unleash the church, but to transform the world with excellence and righteousness. For righteousness is the beauty of the church. Righteousness is the beauty of the church. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Our Father and our God. We are calling upon you. Through your power of God. Through your power of God. That this resurrection power. That brought the bones up. That connected the bones up. That made it a vast army. We pray that this army shall be unleashed to God. With excellence of God in everything that we do, with excellence of God in everything that we do, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
mobilization of the church for the PIWC City Church Conference and for the conference to have global impact. Oh my God. Yes. Now, this conference is like the first conference that happened in the book of Acts when all the people of God were gathered in Jerusalem. Acts 2.1 says, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together. They were all together in one place. Yeah. And verse 6 says, when they heard this sound, a crowd came together yeah. in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. We are praying for this maiden conference. Yeah, sure. Just as it happened, the first Pentecostal conference My that God. happened in Jerusalem. We are having a global one coming May. We are praying in the name of Jesus that people People will be motivated to attend. Oh God. That God will provide finances for yeah. those who are going to travel from far and near. Mm. Money to pay for hotel accommodation. Mm. The acquisition of visa. Yeah. And every logistical need for this conference to be great and powerful. And to have a global impact. We are praying that may this Pentecostal power oh, cause, cause this conference oh. to be the greatest that we have ever seen so far. Shall we lift up our voice and pray? Oh. We are praying. Oh, oh, Lord. Lord. Father, may you gather your Lord, people we call on in the you. mighty name of Jesus. We pray for massive, massive mobilization. We are praying, Lord. Come on. Father, we are praying for great mobilization of the church. Father, for the people of UC, City Church Conference, and for the conference to have a global impact. We are praying, oh God, that motivate your people. Spirit of the Lord. Motivate your people, Spirit of the Lord. Motivate your people for massive attendance, for massive attendance in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, for massive attendance in the name of the name of Jesus. That all your people, Father, will attend, O God, in our numbers, in our numbers, in our numbers. We pray, O God, for financial provision, Father, 
for finances. We pray for finances. Those who are trapped ahead of us, prepare the ground. Makaroba, prepare the ground. That the whole prepare the ground. Accommodate the name of Jesus. Visa and everything. Father, we need a huge success of God. Open the way. Let me find Pentecost 2024. Pentecost 2024. Pentecost 2024. Apply for a Pentecost 2024. We pray in the name of Jesus. For a huge success. For a huge success. For a huge success. To impact the globe. Success. Father, to impact the globe. In the name of Jesus. We pray that the Lord. Your spirit of God. It is only your spirit. It's over by your spirit. It's over by your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let it be. 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 Let we want our PRWCs and our city churches mm. to expand and to possess the nations. Oh and this Pentecost 2024 yeah. should be a replica of Pentecost in the, when the church started. Yeah. We are asking for the flow of the Spirit. My God. May the fire of the Lord, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, captivate this conference so that it shall have a global impact. Shall we continue in prayer? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are commissioning the church of God. Even as we are going for this conference, we pray for that this conference of God, for this conference, we pray for this conference, in the name of Jesus, the speakers of God, anoint the speakers, anoint the speakers, anoint the speakers, anoint your people be ready to catch the fire, that this is the time, to catch and run with the fire of God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the impartation, in the name of Jesus, come on, let's pray, in the name of Jesus, this let there be a root to a spirit filled through that will brood over your church. That will brood in the PRWs. We claim the city for you. We claim the city for you. This conference of God will be a shaking. There will be a shaking. There will be a shaking. We need a move. We need a move. Holy Ghost. The owner of the church. We call on you today. Let it, oh God, prevail. Let it breach fresh air into the PIWs. Let it breach fresh air into the city churches. In the name of Jesus, let this concept of God shall be understood. That this concept of God shall be understood. The best thing, 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 the best thing,
on the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. He will make this conference to be one that we have never seen before. Oh, power. Oh, power. As we zoom to the last topic, we are praying for God to raise godly men and women to influence our world with godly values. We are praying that in our own church, God will raise men and women who are godly on the political arena, on the economic arena, wherever. In Acts chapter 13, after Barnabas and Saul were prayed for and unleashed, they came to Paphos and met Sergius Paulus, the proconsul or the governor of the area, who wanted to hear the word of God. But he was prevented by Elimas, the false prophet. Apostle Paul prayed, and by Jesus was struck with temporary blindness. Mm. In Acts 13, 12, it says, When the proconsul saw what had happened, he believed, for he was amazed at the teaching about the Lord. Tonight, you want to pray that God should raise men yes. in authority. Yes, Wherever they might be, he should My raise God. them My to God. receive the word My so God. that they can impact they can influence the world with their godly values. If, if governmental people, you know, if politicians come to the Lord and know the Lord, they will influence the world with their godly values. We are praying against every early mass on the way that the word will go to the people who are in authority that God will raise godly men and women. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Father, we pray to in the name of Jesus. Just as Sergius Paris, O Lord, the proconsul, the governor of Paphos, Father, wanted to hear the word. Though he was prevented, we are praying in the name of Jesus that this man, Maroba Shokotoya, Blakataya Baba, we are praying in the name of Jesus that men and women, men and women in authority, we pray, O God, that our politicians, our governors in the cities of God, these will come to know the Lord. They will come and to know the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that the Lord may you raise godly men and godly women to influence our world with godly values, just as you did with Sergius Palus, just as you did with Sergius Palus. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. May you touch our presidents. May you touch your God, our leaders. May you touch everyone and anybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, that with the godly values of holiness, of honesty, in the name of Jesus, 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 whatever is preventing people of God to become godly, whatever is preventing people from becoming godly, we are praying as you did for Sergius, Paulus, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. May you raise people. May you raise people from the church. May you raise people from the world. From the political arena. May you raise people from the financial world. May you raise people from the economic platform. Father, to see your glory. In the power of the name of Jesus. 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 The people in authority. Wherever we find ourselves, we shall, oh God, influence, we shall influence, we shall influence with godly values in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, teachers of God, 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 in the name of Jesus, the light of the world is you. In the name of Jesus, we walk in the light of the world. 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 
when those on the ship wanted to destroy all the prisoners we need people in such places who god has raised yes. who have godly values so that they can transform and influence our world yes. just as sagious palus wanted to do it but somebody wanted to prevent it. We are praying to God that God raise these men Already in the God. church, raise in every God. area, yes, so Lord. that they will stand raise and proclaim God. Christ and influence oh, the society. God. Shall we pray we call on in the name of Jesus? We call on you, Lord. We call on you, Lord. When the righteous rule, we call them there is peace in the land. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. Come on, now. We have one. in the name of Jesus of Nazareth yes we want to thank you father in Jesus name I will ask uh, pastor set or say to sum up our prayer shortly so father we want to thank you this evening yes we want to thank you for your power Yes, we want to thank you for the resurrection of our Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Name. Oh, if the power of him that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us, yes. there will be a quickening of the mortal body. Yes, we pray Jesus. this evening, oh God, mm. may there be a quickening of mortal yes, bodies. Amen. May everything Amen. that is dead, oh God, Amen. may it be resurrected Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. May it be resurrected in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We commit the conference upcoming into yes. your hands. Yes, Lord. We pray for a major mobilization. Yes. Lord. We pray that your power will be felt in the conference. Yes, we Lord. pray that, oh Lord, your power will be felt in the conference. Yes, Lord. May, oh God, oh, man, anyone who set foot at the conference, my God. may they live with testimonies. Yes, may they live with your power. Yes. May they live with your power. Amen. After this conference, may there be a revival. Amen. May there be a revival. Amen. Amen. We thank you. Yes, we Lord. thank you. Yes. We Jesus. know you've Jesus. answered all our prayers. In Jesus', In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Come down like rain, divine grace, upon me now, refresh my soul. Come down, come down like rain, divine grace, divine grace, oh, upon me now, refresh my soul. Strengthen me, strengthen me. In my walk with you to know your will, Lord, and please you. Strengthen me, strengthen me. In my walk with you to know your will, Lord, and please you. Come down like rain, come down like rain. Divine grace upon me now, upon me now. Refresh, come down like rain, come down like rain, oh divine grace, oh upon me now, refresh my soul. Riding on the existing protocols, we are lifting three topics. The first is we praying for mighty outpouring of the Spirit's power to be at work in our Easter conventions with miracles, signs, and wonders. And we'll also raise another prayer for our Easter conventions to be led by the Holy Spirit to build up the saints, draw souls, and impact communities for Christ. And lastly, we're going to pray for global Christianity to be on the cutting edge to transform nations in righteousness. Like our songwriter said, we are reading from Isaiah 32 15 from the New King James Version Isaiah 32 15 until the spirit is poured upon us from on high that is our prayer for tonight until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and the wilderness become a fruitful field and the fruitful field is counted 
as a forest. This outpouring happened on the day of Pentecost. And we are saying that God, when you resurrected, you mm. promised that one of the things that will show that you have resurrected is that you bring the Holy Ghost. And you did it on the day of Pentecost. We are praying that let there be another outpouring tonight. Mm. During the Easter convention, let there be another outpouring. Mm. Lift your voice and let's begin to pray. Another Pentecost. After the resurrection, there was Pentecost. As we come before you, we are praying for another Pentecost. Another outpouring. Come down like rain one more time. Another outpouring over our meetings, over our preparations, over every facet and session of the program. Come down, oh Holy Ghost. Breathe into our meeting. Brood over us. Well up and spring up as a mighty rain from the fountains of the deep. Come down like rain, Holy Ghost. Another outpouring. One more time. Romani Makapaya. Shula Diantasa. Ropapapa de Makopaya da Bababa. Rotatimi Nimikapa. Hashe de Mekopaya da Rapa. Let your voice another outpouring that the heavens will be open until the spirit is poured upon us from on high so the wilderness turns into fruitfulness so that fields that are fruitful will multiply come down oh holy ghost visit our meetings one more time as you did on the day of pentecost repeat it in our times in our days make them known in the name of jesus do it lord do it lord we have heard of your faith we stand in awe of your deeds. In our time, repeat them. In our days, make them known. Another outpouring in this season. Another outpouring in these times. Come down one more time. Ropa Iva Roshata. Hafini Mini Mikopa. Hapanamanama Tensate. Pour out your spirit upon us. Ignite a fresh fire within us. Rada Davo Shapanabaha. Let your voice another outpouring. Come down, O Holy Ghost, a mighty outpouring of your spirit power. Let it be a work in our conventions. In the name of Jesus. Come down like rain, pour upon us one more time, spring up one more time, come mightily down in our meters, move in our meters, Lord, in the name of Jesus. A mighty outpouring of your spirit, O oh God, an outpouring of your power in a unique dimension, unique way, unique experience, encountering your outpouring, your power in the name of Jesus. Until the spirit is poured upon us from on high, pour your spirit on us, pour your Holy Ghost on us one more time. And so, God, we come for our conventions, pour and pour and pour and outpouring in the name of Jesus. For at the last days, you will pour out your spirit on all flesh. These are the times, these are the moments. Your spirit power one more time, Lord. Ropa Panemekapa, Rotati Pati Pakapa, Retinemekopa, Repanimikapa, in an anamoship in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. We are so praying. Our God is the God who answers prayer. So as we have lifted out this prayer, the heavens have been opened. The clouds have gathered. And the rains have fallen mightily. We are still praying on this same prayer topic. We are praying that there will be a new move. Like our chairman has been saying. A new move of God that will transverse 
the continent. So we are saying that as the spirit power is poured out in our Easter convention, it should come with signs, wonders, and miracles. So we are saying that we don't need yesterday's miracles. We hear of what has happened. Chairman says that um, we don't need Azusa Street Revival. We are praying that in this Easter convention, there will be an Easter convention revival. We need more fresh fire, more fresh oil, more fresh unction, fresh miracles. Lift your voice and let's pray. God is a progressive God. He is a progressive God. Our today will be full of miracles than yesterday. Our tomorrow will be progressive in signs, wonders, and miracles. And you move, oh God. Move in our conventions. Move in our conventions. Deeper signs, miracles, awesome wonders. Do it, Lord. For your way says that the path of the righteous is like the morning sun that shines brighter and brighter to the perfect day. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Mighty outpouring of your spirit power to be at work in our Easter conventions with miracles, fresh miracles, signs, fresh signs, fresh wonders. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice wherever you are. Pray this into me. He is the God who answers prayer. Fresh wonders, fresh miracles, fresh mover, fresh things of God, fresh encounters. In the name of Jesus, what eyes have not seen, it is happening in our conventions. What ears have not heard, it is repeated in our conventions. It is happening in mighty dimensions. What hearts have not conceived, that is what God is doing. As you are praying, it is happening. In the name of Jesus, Solanianta, Ropati Pate Bakapa, Repati Panimba, Lefladesa, Apana Bahanta, Apaneme Kopaya, Rapana Bakapaya, Apaneme Kopa, Ratatata, Apeneme Kopa. In the name of Jesus, we want to continue to pray our next prayer topic. We are praying that for the Easter conventions. We want the Holy Ghost to lead us. We pray for the Easter conventions to be led by the Holy Spirit to build up saints, Amen. draw souls, and impact communities for Christ. First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4 to 6. First Thessalonians 1, 4 to 6. For we know, brothers and sisters, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with power. We are praying that during this Easter convention, as the Holy Ghost leads us, let our ministrations come with power. He says that not only simply with words, but also with power, with the Holy Spirit and deep convention. Repeat this one in our time in Jesus' name. You know how we lived among you for your sake. You became imitators of us and of the Lord. For you welcome the message in the midst of severe travel, suffering with joy given by the Holy Ghost. Our prayer topic is that, that the word of God and ministrations during our Easter conventions will be spirit-led and build up the saints of God. Lift your voice and let's pray. Spirit-led word ministrations that will build the saints of God up in the name of Jesus. That the gospel will come not only simply in words, but in the power and the demonstration of the spirit power in the name of Jesus that the word of God will break hearts break conscience men and women sitting under such ministrations will receive the word of God that their lives will be transformed and built up do it Lord do it Lord let's pray it to be do it Lord do it Lord do it Lord let our conventions be led by your Holy Ghost, be led by your spirits, that it will build up saints in the name of Jesus. Kapantesa, repatipa, ratantabanda, ropantelebe kopa, hapanibadita, hapapapakapaya, rapanaba kapaya nabaha, hapanabaha nabaha nabaha, building of the saints by the power of the Holy Ghost, building of the saints by the power of the Holy Ghost, building of the saints. Ropa di ba ro 
Shasha, Abana Bahani Mikopaya, Habli Abaya Kapa. Shama Rapa, Rapa Rapa, Rapa Rapa, Rapa Rapa, Apale Mikopaya, Apale Mikopaya, Atana Nana Makopaya, Apale Apaya Tabaraba, Rapa Papa, Rapa Yakapa, Apale Dedo Sate, Atulia Tatalaba, Anima Kopaya, Apele Mikopaya, Rapanda, 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 Rapa Papa, Rapa Yakapa, Apale Mikopa, Apale Mikopalanda, Apanda Sobadaba, Rapa de in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Quickly, we are adding on to the second prayer topic. Luke chapter 5, verse 17. Luke 5, 17. Now it happened on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by who had come out of every town of Galilee. They had come out of Judea. They had come out of Jerusalem. And the Bible says that the power of the Lord was present to heal them. The power of the Lord was present. We are praying that the presence of God will be present. Yes. The presence of God should be present. Sure. And in this prayer meeting tonight, may the necessary atmosphere be created in all our meetings for God Jesus. to meet his people. Like the secular pastoral letter that came, chairman says that we should create the necessary atmosphere. We are lifting up a prayer that may, may the necessary atmosphere be created as a result of this virtual prayer meeting that God will encounter his people that will draw in souls from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Lift your voice and let's pray. It will draw in souls and impact communities for Christ. The power of God, the presence of God should be present. The very manifest presence, the very manifest presence of God, that Shakina glory, that Kabul, that Doxa should be manifest in our meetings, drawing in souls from the north, south, east, west, impacting communities in the name of Jesus. So that the let your power be present let your presence be released in all our meetings in all our gathering may the right atmosphere be created that you can encounter your people expectations that people come in with they are living with expectations met because God is and he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we are praying the third prayer topic we are we pray for we're praying for global Christianity to be on the cutting edge to transform nations in righteousness we'll continue first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 7 to 10 the verse 7 says that and so you became a model to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. We are praying for global Christianity to be on the cutting edge. It should be a model. And, and this is the prayer. And so you became a model to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. The Lord's message rang out from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia. Your faith in God has become known everywhere. Global Christianity should be on the cutting edge. It says that for they themselves report what kind of reception you give us. They tell how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son oh. from heaven. We are praying that global Christianity will be on the cutting edge. Oh, and they will live. Global Christianity will, will just proclaim and live out a model of righteousness. Oh, on Sunday, our chairman was preaching on the born again experience in his message and he says that the born again experience is a powerful experience 
is a radical experience is a transformative experience is a supernatural experience it is the game changer we are praying that the power of god will cause believers to be truly born again he says that the born again experience is a sign it is like a win where people wonder about people's life, the kind of transformation that has come. And he says that it all begins on the cross. In this Easter convention, in this season of the cross, the death, the burial, and the resurrection, may Christians be on the cutting edge. May Christians be genuine Christians indeed. May that standard of righteousness be modeled by Christians globally. Lift your voice and let's pray that this will become possible. True conversion, genuine born again experience, that global Christianity will be on the cutting edge. It will be a model. Righteousness will spread everywhere ropa ni makopaya she pa 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 da 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 ba he pa da 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 do se she ma ni ma ni makopaya ropa pa le ka pa ha ta la 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 bo she pe ha pa 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 re pe ne me ko pa ya ha ta da ba ha da ba da ba ropa ni ma ni makopaya ha pli a pa ya ta ba ra ta 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 ha pe ne me ko pa ha ba da da ra pa we pray for global Christianity. Let Christians worldwide let that genuine convention, the new experience of born again, be stirred up, Lord, in the name of Jesus, so that global Christianity will be on the cutting edge. We shall see transformation in the nations. Righteousness will be a standard, a higher level of righteousness, that our righteousness will exceed that of the Pharisees. That is what you demand. And the born again experience, it makes this possible. It makes that higher standard of righteousness possible. Stare at this grace. Stare at this grace. Stare at this grace. That Lord, global Christianity will be on the cutting edge. It will bring transformation. We shall see the new righteousness. We will not profess righteousness, but we will model righteousness in our lives, in every face of our endeavors. We shall walk in righteousness. Just as God is perfect because of the born again experience, we too we will be perfect. We too will live that higher form of righteousness that exceeds that of the Pharisees. It is possible. The born again experience makes this possible. It is very possible. Let it happen in our time. Let it affect global Christianity. Let it traverse the continent. Let it be on the continent. Let it traverse the nations. Let righteousness be seen in the lives of believers, in their workplaces, in their marriage, in their communities, in all their endeavors. Let righteousness be raised as a banner all over the world. In the name of Jesus. It is possible, it is possible, it is possible, it is possible. Your prayer is causing it to happen. Your prayer is causing it to come into being. In the name of Jesus. Sholadesa, Repalipa, Rapadika, Rapadiba Rosa, Rapapa, 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 Aplea Paya Kapa, Apalebe Kopaya, Atania Tata, Apalebe Kopa, Rapapaya, Aplea Paya, Apalebe Kapa. Let global Christianity be turned around. Let it be on the cutting edge. It is possible. Let this powerful experience bring this into being. This radical, supernatural experience. Let it cause this to happen in the name of Jesus. Shola dianta, ropa di bi di bi kopa, rata bada bahanta, rabada bahante, ema nama kopa, reta ti anta, afene be kopa ya, rata ne be kopa, rada na basha, shama na mahanta, rabada bahante. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Remember, we bear your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. You are the God of signs, times, and seasons. Yes, and this is a season of commemorating your death, your burial, and your resurrection mm. that has given Christianity that solid foundation. And we have every reason to boast that because we have believed in you, 
when we die, we will resurrect again. We bless your name for what you have done during the season over the years and what you are about to do in this season. Thank you for the mighty outpouring of your spirit power that will be at work and will be evidence in the mighty signs, wonders, and miracles. Thank you that your Holy Ghost will lead us in all our ministrations. As a result, saints will be built up. Yeah. Souls will be drawn in immeasurable volumes and communities will be impacted. And we thank you, oh God, that the global Christianity has been impacted in a very extraordinary way mm. because we are going back to the cross. Jesus. And that higher form of righteousness that is required of us, we are walking in it to the praise of your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Very finally, in this final session, we'll be anchoring our prayers on three main points. First of all, we'll pray for the growth and the resilience of the businesses of our members. And then secondly, we'll pray for the successful documentation of our members in the diaspora and success in the academic and career pursuit. And then very finally, we'll pray that PENSA and all other members of our church would obtain strategic placements in the job market and will become agents of transformation in their various fields of endeavors. Amen. Amen. Power and mind belong to our God forever and ever. the resilience of the members' businesses. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, the Bible tells us to commit to the Lord whatever we do, and he will establish our plans. In Isaiah 43, verse 19, the Bible says that, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Beloved in the Lord, these scriptures underscore God's ability to create opportunities in these challenging situations of the world. It offers hope for businesses facing difficulties and highlights God's power to bring about renewal and resilience. We want to pray that, oh God, cause and sustain the growth and resilience of the businesses of our members. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may we see growth in the businesses of our members. May we see resilience in their businesses. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, cause growth in the name of Jesus. Cause growth in the name of Jesus. He must hold the sun at the head. A fini makora ba shanda ha. A fini kado shada da da. A sele kado shada da da. A sele me konda ha. A pe la kanda ha. A shada da da da. A yenda la me konda la kasha ha. A pe ne me ne me. I yenda la kasha da ha. I braso ba ba ya. A pe ne me ne me ne me. A yenda kado shada da da. 
We are praying for growth in the name of Jesus. We are praying for resilience in the businesses, in the businesses of our members. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we want to see growth. We want to see resilience. Oh, in the name of Jesus, sustain every growth that has been orchestrated already in the businesses of our members against this hardship and economic outlook. We pray that, oh God, oh God, intervene in the affairs of our members. In the name of Jesus, may we see a quantum leap in the businesses of our members. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, oh God, we pray that, oh God, may we see growth, may we see resilience in the businesses of our members, in the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus. haven't you said that you will bless the works of our hands, in the name of Jesus, we want to see your blessing come to the fore, we want to see your blessing bear in the name of the Lord Jesus, Ashadagadahas, Alemba Gomba, Adiandoscopaya, Aradaga Shadadada, Ale Cavano, Ale Shadadada, Ashadanana, Yalaga Shadadada, Ayalaga Shaya, Avena Mena Mena Mehe, Ashadanana, Ale Cofaya, Ashadadada, Ale Cofano, Ale Nana Nana Nehe, Ayelebe Shanana Nana Nehe, Ayalaga Shanana, Ayala. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. No member's business will wind up. No one's business 
will fold. In Jesus name. It is our prayer that against this economic outlook, when there is intense difficulty, nobody's business will go in down the drain. But that name. God will sustain every business. Yes, and that is our prayer this evening. Now, our second prayer point. We want to pray for the successful documentation of our members in the diaspora. And then we also want to pray that God will divinely orchestrate their career and academic path that they would excel. I read from Psalm 37, verse 23, from the NIV. The steps of good men are established by the Lord when he delights in their way. This scripture assures God's support for those pursuing righteous path. It provides comfort to our members in the diaspora navigating their documentation processes that trusting God for divine help. This evening we are praying that, oh God, oh God, see to it. Let it be yes. that there will be success in the documentation processes yes. of our members yes. in the diaspora. Yes. And oh God, may they achieve success yes. in their career and academic yes. endeavors. In the name of Jesus, you want to open your mouth and pray that oh God, for our members in the diaspora, may they see success in their documentation processes. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and in their academic and career path, we pray for breakthrough. We pray for success. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay in Kavano, I bid him in the name of him, I shot at the other half, I shed a man in the middle of him, I ran the Kavan Sombaha, I lay Kavano, I yell a man in the middle of him, I lay a liar, I lay a liar, I yell a gun in the middle of him, I lay a liar, I shot at the other half, I lay a liar, I lay a shot at the other half, I lay a liar, I in the name of the Lord Jesus, I live with a shire, a liar, 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 a so he bundle of Messiah in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray for success. We pray for success. A bundle of Messiah, he bundle, he bundle, a rada gashaya. In the name of the Lord Jesus, a shada da da, he yanda la kavasonda, he yande, he mandolo mo, he baba kumbala. Ayala gashada na 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 na, ayayayaya. Oh ayayayaya, a shada na 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 na. I in the name of the Lord Jesus, I send them in the middle. I Savaya Balava, I Jalaga Shaya, I Yalaga Shaya, I Yalaga Shana, I Yalaba Lavalava, I Shana Nanama, I Yayaya, I send them in the middle. I Yayaya, I Yanaga Shaya, I Yayaya, I Yayaya Basoya, I Yanaga Nemehe, oh Yayaya Basoba, the Yanaka Shaya, oh in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I've been all over Shire. In the name of Jesus, success, success, excellence in your path. In the name of Jesus, I should have been in the middle. I let go by a lane, shut on another. I yell like a shun on another. I yell like a shire. The Yalaka Shire. I let go of Shire. I yell like a shire. I live by a bar. I mean, the local. The Yalaka shun on another. I've been a shun on another. I <laughs> <laughs> 
In the name of Jesus, has God not said that he will do beyond all that we ask him, think of or imagine? Our dear brothers and sisters in the diaspora, this evening our intercession is that God's missional agenda on your life will be fulfilled. Jesus. To the extent that you would excel in your career and academic path. And that your documentation processes will be successful. Amen. And very finally, we want to intercede for our PENSA members and every other member of the church. Our prayer is that God will cause a strategic placement in the job market on our behalf. Amen. Not only that, but that God will also help us and cause us to leave an indelible mark on the face of this earth. Amen. That will cause a transformation on the face of this earth. I read from Proverbs 22, 29. Do you see someone skilled in their work? They will stand before kings. They will not stand before obscure leaders. This scripture underscores the value of competence and God's favor in achieving recognition. This evening, our intercession is that PENSA members will be placed in positions oh, that leverage their skills and allow them to influence their world. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we want to intercede every PENSA member out there. The skill you are building, the foundation of your life you are laying, that God will cause you to be strategically aligned in the job market, that you will cause a lasting impact in this world. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Afini Makobaya, Imano Shadanana, Alea Yayaya, Nanana, Avindolomo Shanda, Alenda Lenda, Yalaga Shadanana, Ayeva Vaya Vaya, Alendos Copaya, Ibra Solomonomo, Avena Mele Messiah, Alenda Lemeshana, Ashalaya, Ibra Soma, in the name of the Lord Jesus, strategic placement of our members, strategically assign them on the job market that they will cause an indelible impact in the sand of time. In the name of Jesus, we want to leave a lasting impact on the face of this earth. We want to change the world. We want to change the world. For it is a truth to say that, oh God, you saved us from the world and you have changed us and brought us into the world that we will cause a lasting impact. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the world clouded with the sinfulness, the world clouded with evil. Oh God, oh God, strategically assign your people to change the terrains of the world, to take the world upside down. In the name of Jesus, I've been no longer shy. Eva Venemekova, Eva Sanda, Alemango Opa, Avela Meshana, Nanana, Ashada, Nanana, Alenda Akebaya, Arada, Nanana, 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 Alengo Shana, Nanana, Nanana, Ayaya, Avili, Mili, 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 Ayaya, Yapando Skopaya, Ayala, Ashada, Ayele, Gele, 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 Ashada, Nanana, Nanana, Ova, Venemesova, Abino, Lomo Shana, Makomba, Aranda Galavashan, the Yalagash, the Yalagash, the Yalagash, oh, Mapaya, Ashana, Ashana Mekoba, Aranda Skopaya, the Mamendolos, Komanana, the Mesova, Ashana, Ayala Galagash, oh, Yaya, 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 oh, Yabancho, Ayaya, Yaya, 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 Oh, Vapaya, Ashana, Oh, Vapa, Vapa, Yala Gashaya, Aleconda Monomo, Adia, Nana, Nana, Aya, Vidomo Shaya, Ibe Bensomono, Imento Lomo Shaya, Akini, Mini, 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 Rabasova, Abino Lomo Shana, Yala Gashana, Ibano Manoya, Imento. 
strategically assign your people in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, to bring the transformation that the world needs. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Asha, da, 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 da. Asha, no, 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 no. Ava, va, va, ya. Aya, ya, 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 ya. Asha, da, va, da. Vive, fena, me. Aya, la, ga, sha, na, 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 na. Aya, ya, va, sha, na, na, na. Vive, ve, ve. Iya, la, ga, sha, na. Iba, ren, be, so, pa. Ara, da, da, da. Ima, so, ma, na, me, ne. Asha, da, da, da. Iya, la, ga, sha, na, 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 na. Iba, va, no. Ma, prin, no, mo, sha, ne. Ima, koni, ma, na, ha. Mele gana gana me shana mene me Irada ka shaya Aranda ska pini mano Ibra sova Apini mini mini mi Imanko boloncha Iyana la ka shana Iyala ka shana Alento opate Iyala ka shana Iyala ka shana Avete Imanko lo mo shana Iyala ka shana da 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 A shana da 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 A yale ve shana me Iba baba yo A shana da 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 A yale ve shana me Iba Baba Shana, Alena Le Meshaya, Iba Baba Meshaya, Ara Da 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 Da, Ashene Mene Mene, Iba Bene Mekoba, Ara Da Ba Shana, Alina Skopolo Meshaya, Aleke Shene Ne 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 Ne, Aya Ya 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 Ya, Afini Mini 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 Mini, Ashana Da 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 Da, Ashana Na 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 Na, Afina Lo Meshaya, Oh Ya 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 Ya. Shana na 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 na, ah da 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 da, ah ya ya fashono, ah mindo lo mosaya, ah fe fe na 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 na, oh shana da 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 da. In the name of Jesus, we depend on you, Holy Spirit. We have no. come before our maker we have prayed to God that oh God cause the businesses of our members to grow yes. and be resilient Jesus. we have prayed to God that Lord yes. our members in the diaspora see to a successful docu documentation yes. process for them yes. and oh Lord cause that Lord they will be successful in the academic and career persons yes. and finally Lord we have prayed that strategically oh, assign no. PENSA members Sada. in the job market, yes. that they will cause a lasting transformation yes. and impact in this world. Yes. Father, this is our intercession this yes. evening. Yes. We pray and we say, Lord, we thank you. Yes. We acknowledge that all power belongs to you. Yes. And Father, this evening, make all this happen. Yes. You have said that if we pray in accordance yes. with your will, you hear us, and if you hear us, then you answer us. Father, we know and trust that our prayers have been answered. Yes. We pray that, oh God, what is needed to put our people, our members on the map, Father, may that be sustained. Yes. Father, we pray that in the coming days, may we see this transformation. Yes. In the coming days, may this world, may our world yes. see yes. a lasting yes. impact. Yes. To you alone be all the glory, yes. now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I believe today has been another exciting prayer time in the presence of God. Let's put our hands together and give God 
a shout of praise and glory. Hallelujah. Because we are confident that he has heard us. He has granted our request. And our world will experience his power as never before. Amen. So we say God bless you too. Elder Emmanuel Boate and the team from Pensa Legon. And then Pastor Emmanuel Pastor Chirebi and the indoor prayer team, uh, in-house prayer team. And then uh, Apostle Johnny Ansa from the U.S. and his team. And our sister Glenda Kmiud for leading the period of adoration. May the Lord bless us all. Amen. Dearly beloved, next week Tuesday will be the second of April, meaning we have stepped into the next uh, quarter of the year. And so let's gear up. The second we'll meet and pray. But we will escalate the prayers in that one of the weeks we will do three day continuous. We'll confirm the date for you when we meet on Tuesday. But in April we will do three days continuous every quarter. We will do a three-day continuous one, escalating it, and so that once the tempo rises, the answers also will come in bountiful food. Amen. The showers will come. Amen. And God has already started answering prayers. He will do mightily with his church. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we close in prayer? Sovereign Lord, we thank you that we go forth into the Easter season. We go into our convention being assured of your presence. We are assured that the spirit power will be made manifest. There will be signs and wonders, mighty deliverances, mighty wonders of God in the midst of your people that will build your saints up, will draw souls unto yourself and will impact the communities and the nations for you. You are God over the whole earth. Rule in majesty and let the resurrection power do spectacular things in your church and across the nations. You are sovereign, you are mighty. You do it beyond our asking. So we give you glory and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord bless you. May his presence go with you. May he use every aspect and every facet of your being to accomplish his great purpose. May he lift you into another dimension of his grace and favor. May he weaponize you to accomplish great for his awesome name. Be blessed this season. May you experience the resurrection power amen. as never before. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the season. Amen.